In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transcode your videos from Canon DSLR cameras into something more manageable inside Premiere or other software. If you try to work with the native format that Canon outputs, the MOV H.264 files, you'll find out that when you try to scrub through a video in Premiere or your uh, editing software, uh, then you just you can't successfully edit your videos so what you need to do is you need to take those videos and you need to change them you need to transcode them into a more edit friendly format you need MPEG stream clip for Windows you can download it for free here it's also available on Mac and another thing you need is a Kodak it is Avid Kodak and it's DNXHD. The link down here. Avid QuickTime Download Kodak. And you want to download one for Windows. Once you downloaded those, you want to go ahead and install both the MPEG Stream Clip and the Avid Kodak. Next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you copy all of your videos from your Canon to a folder to a hard drive away from the SD memory card. So I have mine copied into Videos Original. Here are all the files. Once you have that, you want to create a new folder. And I have a folder called Videos Transcoded. There's nothing in there. So once you have these two folders and all the movie files copied over, once you launched MPEG Stream Club, just go to List and you want to select Batch List. And you can also press Control B. Go to Add Files, and you want to navigate to the original Canon MOV files. Go to Videos Original, and let's just select them all. Here you want to select Export to QuickTime, click OK. And here you want to set your destination folder. So we want to go under Videos, and into the folder where it says Videos Transcoded, or any other folder that you want to set it to. Click OK. Here a menu will pop up and if you installed your Avid decoder in the drop down menu you should have Avid DN XHD Kodak. That's the one you want to select. So let's select that. You want to set the frame size to the original unscaled version. In my case I shot the video in 1920 by 1080. That's the one I'm going to select. You want to deselect interlaced scaling and you want to bump up the quality to 100. You go under options and select RGB levels. Uh, also you want to, uh, there is a little bug with this program so here on the bottom you can slightly see this window. If you click the drop down menu will pop up. What you want to do is you want to select 1080p and the frame size that you shot it in. In my case, this was 24, so I want to select 1080p, 24, DN, XHD at 175 and 10-bit. Once I have that selected, if you go over compressed, you'll see that OK button come up. Again, this is another bug, but it's just easy workaround. Just kind of hover over it and then click OK. Next, once you have everything set, just click to batch and click go. Once the MPEG Stream Clip has done transcoding your files, uh, you'll see that the original files are a lot smaller and the transcoded files are a lot bigger. But once you import them inside Premiere, you'll be able to actually scrub through and edit your files. So inside Premiere, let's import both videos. Go on the videos, let's import the original file. And let's import the transported file. So here on top we have the original. Let's input it right here. And let's put in the transported file on the timeline. If we try playing the original file, you'll see that uh, Premiere will hang and it'll just skip around. But once we play through the transported file, we can actually see what's happening and able to edit a lot better.